Good morning, everybody. We have had uh, about a week of just rain, rain, and tons of it. I mean, like one day in like a few hours, we got a whole inch. I mean, it's just coming down like crazy. Anywho, I just thought we'd give you a little mid-May garden tour, show you what's going on around here. As you can see, our blueberries. Are getting there. All right, we'll bring you down here to Mike. Start down here. We usually use a cattle panel down here with our tomatoes, but when Mike went to Tractor Supply, they said they are unable to keep them um, in stock. They're like flying off the shelves as soon as they come in. So he's getting ready to get a, uh, just put up some fence along it. Then he's got his work cut out for him on these tomatoes because we do take the suckers off. So he'll work on that today. Over here, he's weeding our corn bed. We had a pretty good germination rate. And what kind of corn do we plant, babe? Uh, peaches and cream. Yep. So, looks like it's doing fairly decent. Yeah, the front half definitely always gets more sun, so. Yeah. We'll get a good fertilizer in today with him. Sounds good, so he'll be He'll be working in the garden. Like I said, the last week it's rained and rained and rained, so we haven't been able to get out here and work on the garden at We've all. Been sicker than the dog too. Yeah, not to mention we both ended up really sick, um, and it's just not going away. It's been two weeks now, and both of us are still pretty miserable. Here's our onions. They haven't quite started a bulb yet. They're they're trying though. And then over there is our garlic, which we've already taken out. And it did fairly well this year, too. All right, I'm going to spin you around. And over here, the asparagus bed. Strawberries. That's exciting. So what I'll generally do uh, in the past when we had strawberries, last year we didn't get any, is I'll go ahead and I'll pull them when they're ready. Oh, look at that one. Yeah. We've and then couple. I just throw them into a baggie in the freezer. And then when I have enough, I'm able to make some homemade strawberry jam. So that bed looks great, babe. Right? Yeah. Much better. Yeah. Over here in this mess was our spinach and our lettuce. <laughs> I was able to harvest the spinach three times, I think. And I did get some put up in the freezer. So I'm happy about that. Um, our lettuce didn't really... Oh, that one's trying to take off now, the red. These, I mean, did great. We need to get those pulled in, into the refrigerator. Yep. All right, I'm gonna swing you over here is our peppers and they are looking amazing, babe. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, those look good. Our empty bed, that is our rutabagas, which we will be getting planted here soon, I think. I think, I think it was the 15th May of May, 15th, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's about the date we're at right now. So, okay, great. All right, and then over here we have our um, butternut and spaghetti squash. And we only do two plants each and still have a ton. These are the other tomatoes. The, these are the determinants. They're looking really good. Yeah, those red snappers there on the end are are the big ones and then the three smaller ones are the tachis which are the romas nice yep looking good over here we have our leeks and our um celery did absolutely nothing nothing so it was our first year trying it it didn't work um we'll try it again next year yeah. so but the leeks okay can we talk about these potatoes babe That's crazy <laughs> i know they have went nuts. My only fear is the amount of rain we had. Yes. 
So hopefully. So one side is Yukon, right? Uh, yes. And the other side is the Red Norlands? Yes. Yep. We used to do the the blue. Adirondack blue. Yeah. Yeah. But um, when you can them, they look brown and eh, you know. So for for putting up, I decided just to go with the Yukons and the um, the Reds. So they can the best. Yeah. You can definitely tell the difference between the height on whichever variety is way. Which way, yeah. Yeah. All right. And then over here is our carrot bed. And I don't know if I mentioned these covers before. Um, when we first started gardening, we were one of those paranoid. And so Mike did these so that uh, we could keep like squash bugs off and stuff. Um, then we kind of stopped using them. The reason why we came back to them is because our little one there, Turtle, <laughs> he's a puppy. And so he doesn't know like the older dogs do not to get in our garden. So yeah, we had to cover everything. But yeah, here's our carrots. Uh, they look great too, or at least the tops do. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't pulled anything yet to see. Yeah, but yeah, they're looking really good. As you can see, he's in there. Turtle, turtle, get out of there, buddy. And Peanut just wants a bite of whatever he can have. Yeah, right now they're all top though. Okay, and that brings us to this bed, which was our bok choy and our kurabi. Oops, sorry. If I got y'all sick moving that camera. And the kurabi is doing great. Oh my goodness, that one's about ready, hun. Yeah, that one looks good. Wow, nice. If you don't know what kurabi is, um, you can make soup out of it. We make a kurabi coleslaw, which is really, really good. As you can see, the bok choy went to bolt, but that's okay because our hobbit girls that are in the front, love them. they love bok choy, so we just throw it to them, and it's yep. not going to waste, that's for sure. All right, where am I at? Over here. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, our peas are flowering. <gasps> Here's a baby pea. And these are the snap peas. So, these are the ones you eat in the pod. And then over here, beans are gonna start running here soon. Are our beans? Uh uh, turtle, don't eat that, honey. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting teaching him this year for sure. And peanut, peanut just wants a bite. Um, Daddy can probably get you some lettuce. Yep, no bite yet. And then it, it's over this archway, and it looks really pretty once it's all in full, full. Come on, puppy. All right, so Daddy's gonna get them a bite. Um, here is one of the fig trees that Mike grew and planted and it's doing great. All right, I showed you the blueberries. Let's move on over here to our in-ground garden. <coughs> Excuse me. So in our first bed here, is gourds and pumpkins and then watermelon and the last two rows are what uh the first one is kushkosh kushka kushka shop squash okay <laughs> <laughs> say that five and times fast the tahitian melon oh so we loved those yeah. All right, so this fence here was supposed to be for shelling peas, and I mean, we got some, but not it's much. not great, and this yeah. needs to be mowed. But like I said, you know, with the rain we've had, we haven't been able to mow, we haven't been able to do anything. I mean, it's just been torrential. That is, that whole row there is broccoli, looking great. Cauliflower, not so great, but those at the end look pretty good. This was our Cheers cabbage, which, as you can see, isn't doing very well at all. No. Our Napas are doing pretty good, but, I mean, honestly, look, well, I definitely need to get out here with some Sluggo now that it's rained like it has. I'm sure that's going to help. 
Then we have kale, which is looking really good. And we do the lacinata, which is down there, which is like a dinosaur kale. And what is this a new kale right here, babe? That red one is the, the red Russian kale that we finally got to, to grow. Oh. I think we got one plant of it. So what's this here then? This is the blue night curly kale. Okay, look how good it's doing. And then this, we got one plant of the Russian red kale. Oh, yeah, and we've never... Dinosaur kale is... Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then collards. Which haven't taken off yet except... For now, the I've got to get out here and harvest the mustard. Now, the red mustard down there is the kind that we've um, had every year. And then this is a new kind, right? Yeah, that that's we tried. the savannah mustard we were wanting to try. Yeah, but I definitely need to get some sluggo out here. Yeah. And do a, a good harvest. It needs a harvest. Yeah. For sure. Okay. And then we've got bush beans. <laughs> and I'm guessing for some reason, honey, somehow I missed a row. That was supposed to be okra and eggplant that's why there's nothing there yep. okay because of the rain we didn't get the okra and the eggplant out i was like why is there a row missing okay because then i did zucchini zucchini and then i did yellow squash yellow squash and then down here are just extra tomatoes and peppers and he'll throw a, a run of fence up here also and these are just extras that we just kind of throw in so yeah, so that's what it's looking like here at the homestead, mid-May. We got a break in the weather for now. Um, this evening we got more coming in, so we're gonna try and get in here and knock out as much as we can. Um, before I sign off on this video though, I think I'll take you up here to my tea garden and herbs, so. Let's head up that way. Here is our main fig tree that we had that ended up getting attacked by, I forget what, but I will insert that here <laughs> last year, I think. And so he cut it down to get rid of it. And then, uh, so it's coming back pretty decently. All right, I'm going to swing you around to oh, the tea garden. It has exploded. Parsley, sage, chamomile, lavender. As you can see, I was a little late on getting some of the lavender, but I got some put up for tea this winter. Over here, we've got more parsley, and then we're gonna have some calendula in here and basil. And then moving on over here, we've got our huge comfrey, which I need to cut down again giant marigold, some zinnias, over here another huge comfrey plant, <laughs> rosemary, and then I put some kale that we had in the left over in the greenhouse to see if it would come up or not. Man, this rosemary's huge. All right, and then I'm gonna turn you around to this middle one. These are called lar larkspurs. And uh, these actually all grew back from last year. I guess from the seeds. Turtle, get out of the garden. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? Up front here, looks like we have some volunteer marigolds. There is the cilantro cilantro another huge rosemary plant and then back here these are some uh, snapdragons right here 
And then we've got dill, which is coming up really well. Yeah, our, with us getting sick, let's see if I can get in here and show you. Yeah, there's some more snapdragons under there. Um, we actually lost our sense of smell. Uh, we did check to see if it was the bad word and the test did come up negative. Um, but yeah, we did lose our smell. So right now I can't smell anything. These are some leftover flowers that I need to get put up into the ground. And then I'm gonna swing you around over here. And that is our, that is our, um, yeah, what is that? <laughs> Oregano, oh my gosh, I had a brain, brain fart. And then over here in this container, which is getting crowded by these flowers falling over, is our thyme. And then over here, our green stalk. I've got some flowers. There's still some strawberry plants. I've got parsley. What else do I have in here? Oh, I have some leeks to see. So yeah, I mean, everything's coming along really well. So I really hope you enjoyed our little uh, mid-May garden tour. Uh, things are coming along great. Animals are growing, um, food's being produced, and uh, it's an exciting time of year. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.